If you uh, anyone out there looking for a great affordable wine, you're probably not thinking of wines from Europe. Well, my next guest says to think again. Here with some insight on European wines is Haley Bowman from the website Cork and Fizz. Welcome back to the show. Always great to see Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, glad to be here. I'm really excited to share these European wines. I think there's this idea, there's this myth that people think good wine has to be expensive. Right. And especially like good European wine. Oh yeah, I wouldn't even think, like if I was looking for an inexpensive wine and I saw the signs at the top that said European wines, I'd You'd be, be like, like <laughs> let's go over Other here. way. The crazy thing is I actually recommend going in the European wine direction when you're looking for budget friendly. Really? You're going to find better value. These are going to be like below $20 and okay. there are some great ones to look for. Those are the ones I'm going to share with you. All right. That are going to be a great value for under 20. They have a standard they have to go by in Europe that yes. we don't have have in America yes that you can rely on a little bit more yes no additives they have to be like clean ingredients and all those things all right well let's get started yes yeah, so the first one I'm going to talk about so we're going to start with we're gonna two whites two reds okay so our first wine um so this one here for you this one for me this is okay. called Vino Verde this is from Portugal Vino Verde Vino Verde okay. um and it's really lovely it's kind of considered a summer wine but I think we can transition it into fall I like it and right there on the on the yeah, twelve dollars. Yes, you can find these for usually around ten, and Trader Joe's has one for five. Go ahead and give it a try. It's okay. like a Sauvignon Blanc with a little spritz to it. Ooh, ooh. right? You no, know, I love that. <laughs> I know I didn't bring a Sauvignon Blanc, but I brought some some ooh, friends ooh. of Sauvignon Blanc. What do we think? I love. What is the spritz? So the spritz is. It used to be traditionally the wine didn't ferment completely before they put it in the bottle, uh -huh. so it would do the do its work and create carbon dioxide naturally. Yeah. Now just a little bit is typically manually added just to give it a little hint of a spritz it makes okay. it just really nice for pairing and if you're all out there going what is she talking about spritz it has like a little bit of like a bubble taste when you yes. when you not like you're drinking a whole bottle of Pellegrino but just like a teeny little bit of yeah it's spritz. like you're it's like if you make something on Blanc guys. Like Sauvignon Blanc and Prosecco. Ooh. This is a Vigno Verd. So again, Ooh. look for look for the title Vigno Verd. On the back, it'll say Vigno Verd DOC. That's that standard that I was talking DOC. about. DOC, okay. That that's they have delicious. to follow. So that's our first okay. white. Almost like a cider, that one. I like it's that. It's really nice, isn't okay. it? It pairs with like picnic, sushi, all that good stuff. All right. Wine number two, we're going to go with white. It's going to be refreshing again, but this is going to have a little bit more of a creamy texture, not buttery, so don't think Chardonnay. Okay, no, I don't like Just, Chardonnay. <laughs> I know, I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, so this is this is called a Muscadet, and I have the bottle over here. Ooh, Muscadet, huh? Yes, Ooh. yeah, so it looks like Muscadet. Um, I'm trying to speak French here. I don't actually speak French. Well, but you did a good job. Thank Muscadet. you. Yeah, Muscadet, and then Sevret Main is the region. So it looks like a lot of words on here, but trust me, Muscadet, it's going to be light, bright, oceany. It's bright by by the Atlantic Ocean in France. $14 right there on Again, the bottle. Again, yeah, okay, under 15. Let's, let's give, give this it a, a try. Shot. It smells delicious. Cheers. We haven't cheers yet. That's bad luck. I'm do that. Oh. So this one, still nice and bright. Mm. Little bit of a creamy texture. It does this but thing. But not sweet. Yes, right, exactly. It comes from, after the fermentation process mm -hmm. happens in the wine, you need yeast for fermentation. Oh, yeah. The yeast dies and then it becomes lees. And what these lees are, they sit in the bottom of the barrel, and if the winemaker chooses to mix them in with the wine, it gives this little creaminess that you get from that and did, a little bit of a bready flavor. Did you say leaves or lees? Yes, lees, L-E-E-S. -E or in yeast. French, it's L-I-E. So yeah, that's the yeast, the yeast. Okay. after it's done. And it'll say sur lee on the bottle, and that's what Ooh, that means. Très bien. That is, right? okay, these two are delicious. Um, and now you have some reds. And you, I love when you bring us reds, because I haven't, I, I kind of eased back on drinking reds, sure. but you always bring me some that are so delicious that I can't help myself. Yeah, so I have one for Pinot Noir fans and one for Cabernet fans. Okay. So uh, our first one here, so yes, on this one here, this is gonna be for your Pinot Noir fans. Yes. It's gonna be light, Sweet. bright. It comes from a region mm. in France, again, it's called Bourjolet. Again, it does not look like Bourjolet. You have the bottle over on your side um, there, and so. I it, always thought it was Bourjolet. So. It probably is. Like oh, okay. I said, I don't speak French, so however you wanna say it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Bourjolet if you're looking at it, mm -hmm. um, but this is uh, it comes from a region just south of the best region for Pinot Noir, but it's made from Gamay. Mm. Think tart cherry, cranberry, smoke, mushroom, perfect with Thanksgiving. Mm. Oh, that's oh, isn't that lovely? That almost tastes like a like a, a glass of fall. Yes, yes, this is my favorite fall wine. Mm, I love that. And this that. one, so this one was $20, but it is the next level up. So you can look for either Bourjolet and mm -hmm. just that on the bottle. This one is Bourjolet Village. Think of it as like the next tier up. You're going to get a little bit more, yeah. and it's still it's only $20. If you are 
trying to get into red wines, this is such a like this is such a gateway wine. Yes, it's super fruity. It's so, it's so light and fruity. I love that. Okay. And then our final yes, wine. Yes, our last wine. This is for our Cabernet fans, right? Yes. A good Cabernet can be upwards of 30, 40, right? $50. We don't want to spend that. Yeah. So instead, we're going to head to Spain and we're going to try this Let's Rioja. Go to Spain. This oh. is called Rioja. Rioja. It has those same intense, darker fruit flavors. We've got some strawberries, some tomatoes, some plum, it's really and then some vanilla legs. to it because it's always aged in American oak. So oh. it's got just, it's a little smoother. It's aged in American oak. Yes, I know. It seems weird. Spain did it because it was cheaper than French oak when they started <laughs> making the wine. And they just right. stuck with it. They were like, hey, let's go with this. All right. Yeah. So, uh, give it a try. Let's try this. Mm. Yeah. What do we think? I love it. Right? It's delicious. And I don't, you can ask anyone, I don't love a cab. Oh, but okay. I like that. It's not, it doesn't punch you in the face like yes, a cab does Yes, that's that oak that's kind of smoothing it mm -hmm. out a little bit. Oh, yeah. And it pairs really well. This one's to go with like meaty dishes, anything tomato-y, so think like pasta, bolognese, pot roast. Yeah. All those are going to go well. You're going to look for, again, you're going to look for uh, Rioja on the bottle. This yeah. one will say DOC or DOCA on the, ba on the back. Mm -hmm. And if you want something more fruity, like you were liking that Beaujolais. Yeah. Uh, Rioja Crianza, so it starts with a C, Crianza, Crianza. Okay. yep, and then if you want something a little bit more, if you are a cab fan, mm -hmm. go for a Rioja Reserva, that's going to have a little more savory flavor. Okay. That's been, you know what I love, Haley, is that like, these are the wines that you would bring to a dinner party, and oh, someone yes. who maybe hadn't tried a wine before would be, oh my gosh, maybe I don't hate wine. So I'm always grateful for all the things that you bring, and we'll have, of course, all this information on our website. Before I let you go, what is this wine tasting guide you've brought us? <laughs> yes, I'm I just want to add a wondered. little color to this. This is what I use um, for my wine tasting classes. I offer private tasting, so if you head to corkandfizz.com, you can check out those. I'm in and around the Seattle area. Um, and then I also, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you can sign up for my mailing list, and you'll get a 15 under $15 guide for wines as well. If this you is try so more great, like especially if people are heading out to go wine tasting in some of the wineries. This is a great way to get get started. Cram yes, for absolutely. the for it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Haley. I appreciate it. My friend, let's grab this. Cheers to you. Cheers.